Hey, I am back today to do my February favorites. It is March 1st today, which means that spring is on the horizon for us. It still feels like winter here, but we're counting down the days. I It's been a while since I've done a video like this where I've stood up and like presented information. I've been doing a lot of what I ate in a days and that kind of thing. So this feels a little weird. I've already had to start this video like I think this is my fourth time. Super annoying. But onward I go. So my very first favorite, I always start with cosmetics. Um, and this is like a super favorite this month is this Smith's Mocha Rose Chocolate Lip Balm. Now that sounds disgusting because it says chocolate rose. It doesn't smell like roses. It Smith's is the brand that makes the rosebud salve that you can buy at like Sephora. It's a, it's a cult favorite. Um, this one just to me smells like chocolate. I don't smell rose in it at all. It's so nice. I have made quite a big dent in it. My mom got this for me for Valentine's Day and this is a throwback product for me because I used to buy this from Urban Outfitters when I was like, I don't even know, maybe like 10 years ago and I'm really, really loving it. It's so nice. It has the like a thin consistency like Vaseline and it's so good. I would highly recommend that. I don't know where she bought it, but I will find out and link it below in case you want it um, because they're reasonably priced lip balms. So my second product and my only other favorite makeup product is a product I didn't think I was going to buy. I am a huge fan of Urban Decay. I have a lot of Urban Decay products and they're definitely one of my favorite makeup brands. This is a collaboration with Kristen Leanne. I'm sure a lot of you, if you pay attention to makeup, have seen this. And it has the brush just fell out it is called the kaleidoscope dreams palette i don't want to blind you but the layout of this palette is so odd so you would hold it i'm just trying not to get the sun in there um i hated this layout when i first saw it it doesn't make me start putting colors and combinations together it feels like clunky and weird to me and also a lot of these colors are very similar to colors that urban decay has done and continues to do but i will say when you look and you go swatch this palette i got it at ulta um the colors are so unique i'm actually wearing them today thankfully i never feel like they never do that so i'm wearing this color is tahin and i did that in the crease I'm wearing this color Spitfire on the front of the lid and then this really beautiful color on the middle of the lid. Um, they're so pretty. This is one of my favorites. This is Stay Gold and it's supposed to be like a gold color but it looks like when you're actually wearing it, it starts to pull very, so that looks very gold. It looks like it matches my sweater but it pulls very, um, mustardy which is one of my favorite eyeshadow colors to wear it's so so pretty and so if you do like bright eyeshadow i would highly recommend this palette even though it has the weirdest layout ever but i mean it's supposed to be like a kaleidoscope so i get that but it's kind of weird moving on to my book favorites my favorite book that i read in february was the book of dust i just finished doing my what i read in a in february yesterday and i edited it that will edited it I just did my what I read in February and finished editing it yesterday so that'll go up next Tuesday and um, I talk there I kind of ramble on about why I love that book and it is a prequel to the Golden Compass series I think the author doesn't want it be to be called a prequel because it's a separate kind of thing but it happens about 10 years prior to the Golden Compass and I really, really loved it. And that's the book that I would recommend because I think almost anyone could read that and enjoy it. So moving on to like ultra random stuff, I'll go food first. <laughs> One of my favorite things, well, first I should preface this with saying that I am on day 15 of a Whole30. It's my very first Whole30. That's kind of why I've been doing what I ate in a days and food has kind of been more of a focus this month and I have been loving it. I think it's great and I think, um, you know, if you're well informed and interested in that, I'm going to do a separate video on just like why it works or didn't work for me at the end. And I'm, I've am i been kind of taking notes and things like that. But these are products that I have been using and loving on my Whole30. One of the things is I went to Sam's with my mom and there was a pack of three um, holy guacamoles 
for I think like eight or nine dollars and it's these like big containers so it was quite a good deal and I have been loving these and I didn't know this but you can freeze these so this one I pulled out of the freezer the other day guacamole has definitely been a favorite I've thrown it on and I've been using it in like the most random ways I'll throw it on like noodles and things like that and almost becomes like a sauce and it's so so good highly recommend my other is a I'm a huge lover of kombucha I will say that I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before in my favorites but GT's came out with a new flavor called pure love for Valentine's Day it's a limited edition flavor so I don't know how long it's going to be available but it's rose blood orange and hibiscus and it tastes a little like rose but in the best way possible I don't I'm not like a rose person but this is so so good now if you do Weight Watchers I believe this whole bottle is four points which is high so typically like the ginger ale is my favorite flavor and that is only two points but this one I think because it has kiwi juice in it and blood orange juice I'm assuming that that's adding to the sugars or whatever so it's four points but I don't care I really like it it's so so good now something totally random I've been kind of on a kick I was sick like over this last week so I've been on a kick of watching like chick flicks and I've watched Dirty Dancing, Fifty First Dates, whatever, and my very favorite one that I watched was 13 Going on 30. So I feel like I watched it on, I think I watched it on Hulu, and I just loved it so much. So I would recommend seeing it if you haven't, and if you're in the mood for a movie like that, or re-watching it if you hadn't seen it in a long time because it was so cute and it's so nice and refreshing to watch a you know goofy kind of chick flick type movie where love and guys aren't the only focus super great so I would highly recommend that and then my last favorite are pairs of jeans I have had these since for almost a year but they have come in so handy so one of the things as I've lost weight that has been the most challenging for me is jeans and finding jeans and keeping them looking nice I keep getting this baggy saggy tush in all of my jeans and it's so annoying if anybody used to watch all that from on Nickelodeon I always start singing bag and sag and berry so if you remember that I appreciate it because most people don't get that reference but I bought two pairs of jeans from American Eagle so they're not cheap jeans but they're not crazy expensive I actually have never purchased like high-end jeans um, but I got this dark wash in the regular length it is a jegging and it's the 360 degree super stretch they're really nice and they are super stretchy as I've said and they don't get saggy they don't get saggy in the legs under like below your butt they don't sag at all like they have stayed and it doesn't matter how frequently or infrequently I wash them I tend to not wash dark denim as often and they don't get saggy and I also have a nice wash and this is just a regular um jegging I think Oh, this is super stretch so this is a super stretch these are less stretchy to me than the 360 stretch but it's just this like kind of standard like super whiskered which I don't love this kind of detail always but I always get compliments when I wear them because they're just a nice like this is my favorite color denim to wear and I got this in a short length so they hit me right at the ankle and they're so nice so I would highly recommend because actually American Eagle puts their denim on sale quite a bit or they'll have like their sale section and just the other day all their sale denim was on sale for $19.99 and they do run like you know two four eighty or whatever so they're not cheap but to be honest I have paid $30 for old navy jeans and $30 for target jeans that don't last as well that get saggy and that are kind of annoying so I feel like it's worth paying the 10 to 15 dollars more for a pair of American Eagle jeans that actually really last and they fit and they have a wide range of sizes I want to say they go up to like maybe 20 18 to 20 which I feel like is pretty inclusive especially for like a straight brand because even at Target you go and you're like 14 maybe 16 maybe 18 and then you're like screwed 
so that's something I wanted to mention and um, recommend because they really are a good deal and I like the inclusivity and they have so many different styles and washes and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that is everything for my favorites. This was very random. Uh, if you have any favorite jeans for weight loss, I love that. Or just jeans in, in general that you really, really love. Or if you have anything in regards to like Whole30, makeup, Weight Watchers, any of that kind of stuff, I would love to hear your favorites. I love hearing people's favorites. So thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. I always get the nicest comments and I really, really appreciate it. And I hope that you have a good day and so happy that spring is on its way, right? I bet we're all excited. So that's everything. All right, goodbye.